Yo, black man. What's Whoa. up? What's up? You tell me what's up. I don't know, man. I've been sleeping. I've been I've been sleeping. I don't know what's what's going on. <laughs> do we do we have? I, a, I don't know what's going on. He's just saying the truth. Do, do, wait, let, let, hold on a second. Let, let, let's think about this. When we first talked, when we first left, we said, "Well, you know, we should talk about this. What's going on with this political scene? This president, whatever have you?" And we said, "Okay, voting is Tuesday." They said, "Yeah, let me call you Thursday night. She, they should know by then." I was being, I was trying to be prophet, prof, whatever that word is, but I wasn't prophetic because <laughs> do we have? Let me ask you, do we have a president? Is what I'm trying to say. Nah, almost. Still not yet, isn't it? Like late Thursday night. Yeah. What these people been doing? What kind of country we got here? They've been counting. Can I tell you something? India, who has billions and billions of people, they 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 will finish their election. I mean, you know, they did their thing in like record time. Are we supposed to be a whatever world country? <laughs> yeah, okay. First world, you mean? Yeah, whatever it is, I don't know, man. I I, I can lose count. <laughs> Get it as a little joke, but I lose count because of the counting. Of the okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't help, man. I'm, I'm telling these old man jokes these days, man. I'm getting in my, my when I get when I get into a certain car here. I gotta. I drive this classic Mercedes, what eight eight fifty X SL. I don't know what else. Anyway, it's a little classic car. So I, so I, I always drive slow, and I get. I really get into my old man mood. My old man mode, I should say, when I'm down here in Virginia. I really do, man. Yeah. So. Like I said, we called it. <laughs> it's still yeah. not done. But what have you noted, man? What's what's what what what's your uh, how do how do they say this? In the, uh, what's your takeaway of uh, what's going on, man? Well, to me, it's like if uh, the tough man would have won, then we would have had you know pretty much. He probably would have just went ballistic at that point, you know, with all the stuff he wants to do. And uh, he probably would have went forth with a lot of the stuff that he wanted to do as far as um, with the Supreme Court stuff and everything like that and what his people wanted. But since Biden's coming in, because it looks like it's going to be Biden. I'm telling you, it looks like it's going to be Biden. I'd be surprised if it's not. But it doesn't really matter when he comes in because the Senate's still going to be Republican. So with it, for all the stuff that he said, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, you ain't going to be able to do. And the court, and the court's all messed up. And, you know, they, they, they've they been deferring to the, to the courts the courts lately. So, you yeah. know. And I think the Congress is going to be Democrat, or rather a Republican too, isn't it? Um, nah, nah, they still got the Congress. Oh, so Pelosi's still there. Oh, man, yeah. this, is, this is not good, man. This is what I feared, man. Because it just means that Pelosi is in charge, you know. Yeah. This is not this is not good because then Kamala comes in. Then who I don't know who they're going to get as vice president, but man, I don't, I don't like the way this is looking. But see, the thing is, is that the Senate is still going to block a lot of stuff, though. Yeah, I yeah, and then and Kamala Kamala's incompetent, so that's one thing. But like I said, but Pelosi is the power there, though. Pelosi is the power behind the throne. Oh yeah, definitely. Pelosi. So and and it's because she's a just a hostess, that means that somebody else is, is yanking her chain. Damn yeah, man. Well, I look at it this way, you know, we still got to do a, we still got our mission, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Well, Black people. So hey, there you go. And well, you know when 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 the Dunf man. Uh, first got elected. The first thing I said is like, ignore him. Do what you just do. Do do what you got to do. That was my. This was like you know four years ago, whatever you know. That was my cry. And so now that he's awoke, awoken all the political people, the real political people now have a shot. You know. Yeah. When I say the real political people, every the voters or the, or the people, the sheeple, as I call them, you know, the the, way they're the red sheeple or the blue sheeples, they're going to do whatever they do. You know, they're going to just be, you know, whatever from the sideline. But the real workers, the real political people, you know, uh, that's going to be quite interesting. 
because like for ADOS, for instance, because they we have these they have these they, they call them chapters, but these little nodes all over that are yeah. going to be very active. They're going to be more active yeah. than any any group that's ever come before or since. You know, yeah. Tea Party ain't got nothing on these folks, and so and now with and plus with all they this stuff, we're going to grow too. Hey, that's it. They has to grow because the, it's awake. It's awakened. And like I said, they came down on Q and tried to put Q in a box with the rest of these idiot, with, with you know, with the other idiot rappers. You know, when I say since say that, the people have their opinions, but they're a little, little, little off. You know, uh, and 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 like I said, for now, the, the tip of the berg is or rather the tip of the spear is basically ADOS. But now, because of what Q does, he he's like he's like the tip of the tip of the spear. As soon as you breach that wall, and all these truths can come flooding in. Then you see what happens. This is going to be quite interesting. Yes. Especially for the people who, who claim their, their reparations or whatever they are, but they have been, you know, who, who ain't moved the needle at all in all these years. They're, 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 they're going to be, they're going to be quite interesting to me. So we'll see. Uh, I'm drinking water. Yeah. I should have some tea, but I woke up late here and I said, oh man, let me call, let me call a back man because you know, I promise I call him, and I don't want him to think that you know, I'm an old man that fell asleep and couldn't get up, couldn't get back up or something like that. <laughs> you know. Oh well. By the way, I must say this is this is getting quite good. Well, I shouldn't say it that way. It's not, I don't really know yet, but it's getting quite good. Me, uh, since I can throw any any word 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 phrase word salad onto your onto your digital salad palette. This is really. <laughs> This is quite interesting. It's getting quite interesting. I got an idea. You ready? I got an idea. You ready okay. for it? We got to get an exhibit space where you exhibit, you know, your, your your art. And then, you know, the comments that you get, not just mine, but whoever gives you comments. You know how they always have the plaque on the side of the artist? Did they tell you a little bit about the artist, a little bit about the... Oh, that was good, yeah. The, the um, comments and stuff like the commentary. Yeah, to, to, to the commentary on the side of these. When like let me know is when you exhibit, you can even exhibit digitally. Just I don't know somehow whatever. And then you have instead of a plaque, no. As you have the plaque with the artist's name and what they call in the picture, whatever have it. Then you have the comments, you know, on the other yeah. side. But what make that would be good because that would make a really great coffee book, coffee 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 table book. Did I say coffee book? Oh, absolutely. That would make an incredible coffee table book. It would be really very interesting and very um, how do you say time? You know, it would just be interesting to me. I can see it. No, uh, give 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 one of your give one of your rich uh, rich rich friends to uh, put 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 the uh, show together along with the coffee table book. Man, you'll make millions. Or at least I'll have a tax agent. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get some good training first. <laughs> well, and look, anybody who wants a good tax haven, you know, <laughs> will do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, so so so, <laughs> so that's so that's um, what's interesting to me about this whole political situation is how basically to tell you the truth, it turned out it couldn't turn out any better than. I mean, giving all the circumstance for me, it couldn't turn out any better than it did turn out. And I'm still glad that I voted for the Dunf man in this area because I, yeah, I was surprised that you said that. Oh, man, I, I, thought, did, you, I did, thought you wasn't going to vote for anyone though. I wasn't, but did you see my post? Did you see my. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. But, I mean, when Open I. The eye. You know, when I, uh, uh, I gave you a, a snapshot of, the, of, the, of my ballot? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because, no, what happened? I have been looking. I, I thought there was some down ballot stuff. I've been going going crazy looking for it, and all the time I knew I had the two. It's, we only had two issues: the the judges and the sheriffs, no other than people, they get voted on during the off year election with uh, uh with, with, with municipality kind of games. And I did that last year or whatever it was, two, two years ago. And that's when I first wrote an ADOS, you know. For yeah. some, something, so 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 we do it really smart here in our area, and our you know our little fourth district. So we did go in Virginia, whatever we do. That that thing is really smart. So throwing that stuff in there. So we only had two issues. That was good. So as it turned out, I knew I wanted to write in ADOS, and I knew I wanted to write in produce justice. So what happened was since I since on the congressional line I could write in ADOS because to me ADOS is, is you know you work with with this just that grassroots you know we're working from the bottom the lowest we can go which is like the congressional level 
as far as what we need to do. So so I, I put ados101.com in that space, right? And then since the Senate space, to me, that's a little bit, you know, that's where I could put in Produce Justice because whatever. So, so I wrote that in ProduceJustice.com on that space. So since I basically put in the two that I needed to put in, then I started to think. Uh, this is all a last minute kind of thing to tell you too. I said, you know, I really, really, really think you know what it is? The last few days, I was insulted by all of the pandering, how they was telling, and all the trying to the, the the vote shaming. You know, I was just really fed up with it uh, because, unfortunately, well, I wasn't looking at the, I wasn't looking at anything that much. But every time I turned to someplace, be it the TV or the internet, you know, you see this pandering to black people, and. Uh, and I just got sick of it because I'm going like you get nothing to us. And then the last straw, of course, was you know it was, was 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 the Obama boy. What his what he said, and all that stuff. That whole you know our ancestors. And then when Kamala said our ancestors, I'm going like no nah, man, these people I can't let. Them. I just I just had to smack them somehow. I didn't know what I mean. I just I didn't know what to do. And I said so. I'm gonna t- take basically it was revenge vote. Plus, remember, my main thing was was whoever got it, be it Biden or or the or the Dumpf man. I didn't want them to have a mandate. You know, yeah. I didn't want them to have the popular vote. So well, that came and, true for sure. That's right. So so by me voting for the Dumpf man, you know, I was I was doing to me in my mind, I was doing two things. I was taking, I was I was doing a true shot at the, so, since I figured um, uh, was the Uncle Joe would take Virginia because, you know, I figured he'd take Virginia. So let me put my vote, my, you know, my sting, my arrow would be more effective if I voted for the drunk man and that and that popular vote would go to him and the other side rather than me just writing something. With, you know, it's, to me, it was more effective to put this, let's call it a protest vote. So that's what I did. And I'm happy for it. <laughs> and I can, and, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, and I have the other cachet when I go back to St. Louis, right? I can visit I can visit the, my Republican friend, right? And say, hey, you know, I voted for your boy. You know. So I can <laughs> I can I'm I'm I can be truly on the on the a spy on the, a double a double agent, what's it called? Yeah, I can be a true double agent on the Kia, you know. Well, they're gonna want to give you a fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fist bump, yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is going to be interesting. Plus, you know, you know, I mean, if you were smart, any, it's like any one of those civil rights workers, whatever it is, if you really wanted to pimp this whole situation as a black person, he's a pretty intelligent black person, you go to the Republicans, have them finance you. They would do it. They need black people. Oh, yeah. They're definitely looking for black people. Because if you look at some of the black people they choose, it's like, oh, okay, you got to take anybody now. <laughs> That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? You look like, wow, you know. That's it. That's it. I got, uh, so what else do you have, man? I think I wrote some stuff down. Well, that's nothing there. Um, I don't know, man. My thing is, you know, no matter who won, it's still a matter of, you know, we got to focus on what we got to do because, um, you know, I definitely think that we have to, you know, get more politically mature, though. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, you telling me? I mean, you know, that, that, no, that, I, you know something? I hear you, and of course, I have to agree, right? But yeah. let me let me take some not opposing point of view, but let me take another. Let me have another opinion on this, right? Yeah. To me, the bar, let's call it the barbershop crowd. You know, the barbershop uh, uh, level, or whatever it is. The barbershop level is always right. They were always correct because there's enough there's enough diverging opinions in the barbershop to make it make sense. Right. If you if you if you're wafting with 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 uh, with Pelosi with the Pelosi you know uh, uh, pheromones you know that you and you in that bubble you know you 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 surround you like I said you you you're affected by the Pelosi pheromones then you thinking are you thinking a certain way you know what I mean you're not yeah. thinking outside of the bubbles like. I mean, one of the most fascinating things with all this report, like I said, after the first night, which I was up all night, after the first night, which probably was, was so deep sleep in the last few hours, um, 
one of the reasons is that you all of these uh, reporting to me, be they the uh, the the networks or even most of the uh, on uh, what do you call those people, the um, the, the influencers, or the platformers, or the YouTubers, or whatever those things, they all have been incorrect. Yeah. Because they're all in their own little bubbles, and their little yeah. bubbles, like in other words, you know, you 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 go to something like Jimmy Dore, and you won't know nothing about ADOS, you know. Yeah. One of the most offensive things to me is that we have all of these what I call foreigners, uh, especially on the cable or or whatever, being influencers. So I mean, like all these people, the rational national guy, the uh, uh the the John Oliver's. Your uh, your Trevor Noah's, they're all foreigners. What you comment? Why are you commenting on our elections? You know. Oh, because they're Americans now. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. No, uh, no. No, no, I know exactly no. what you're saying. I'm trying to be funny. So I'm just saying, like, look. My thing is that this is what I was saying before about being politically immature. Like, if a lot of the brothers say a lot of brothers didn't vote. And I, I know there's a few out there that definitely didn't vote because they're like, there's nothing in it for me. Yep. But my thing is that, okay, so we got to make it into something in it for us. Like you said, is if you do ADOS, 101.com, or Produce Justice, or even if you wrote in somebody else, that you participated in the process, that you, you're doing a protest, you're doing a poke in the eye at the very least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you're saying, nah, I ain't, you know, they ain't for me. You know, what's in it for me? You know, it's yep. like, okay, well then, you know, you're really not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Well, I look at it. I like, look. That's not really a poke in the eye. That's just a, you know, you're just ignoring like the map flying against you. That's all. Well, I look at it as something else. All these big time people say, I'm not going to vote because it's not that this system is whatever. Have say, okay, right. fine. No, I say, fine, I hear you. But I tell you what, since you, you are not going to vote like that, why don't you, you know, do do, do for the brother, the, the, your brethren in jail. You know what I mean? You, instead, you make like since the brother in jail can't vote. Why don't you vote for him? You know that guy. You, if you don't want, if you don't want to vote, can can you vote for self for something other? There's got to be some cause. It may might be your first one, your second, but there must be your your third or your fourth cause that's represented in this in this ballot because it's nothing but a polling thing. It's a, an official poll instead of going by Nate Silver or Nate who's the other, Nate Cohen or one of these the, those white boys. You know what I mean? Do you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, and that tactic too that that I'm not gonna vote tactic. You just get lumped into it to the rest of those. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep this thing black and white, man. I'm I'm, I'm through with all this stuff, you know. I'm through with being Mister Nice, Mister Nice, co politically correct guy, you know. I'm I'm just like my thing is I'm tired of following white people. That's a white tactic. <laughs> That's not a black tactic. Yeah, to not vote, I insist, is a white tactic. I'm just saying, man, you know. Uh, you know, yeah, and yeah. I back it up. You know, I'm exactly. But see, that's my whole thing is that, you know, okay, this is where, you know, the um, the teaching and the lessons start to come in. It's like, okay, well, then who do I vote for? What do I do? Then it's like, okay, well, now let's start looking. You know, who's running for this? Who's running for this in the down ballot section that affects you and your community? You know what I'm saying? I said to you before about, um, you know, I got like one of those palm cards, you know, from one of the Asian brothers, you know, that yeah. was, and I say Asian brother meaning, you know, yeah, I know Asian guy. Yeah. You know, he's a Democrat. He was running against um, um, this black guy who actually did win for the um, Queensboro president. But he was running on his own party, even though he was running democratically. He says he's a Democrat on the Palm Card, but he was running in his own party. Yeah. And what his Palm Card said, we have to do stuff for our community in Queens. That's so it. there you go. That's it. And I think that's what right the other thing when you, when you say politically sophisticated, that's also getting your, your, your it's safe. Again, if you're a non voter, I don't want to jump on them like that. But if, but, but if you didn't vote for whatever reason is, well, if you have, there might be some cause or some reason that you have in your head. Well, now it's your chance to get it down ballot. Like those people in Oregon who are now, you know, every drug is legal for, you know, a certain amount or whatever have you. That's something unheard of, except for yeah. Portugal. 
So that's something you can put on your ballot in Texas, wherever you, whatever your local thing is. So that the midterms come up, all those initiatives, you know, uh, uh, crime free, whatever, you know, take whatever the thing is, you can put that down ballot. People can vote on it, and, th- and that's how you get things done. Yeah. And that's that. That's that's the degree of political. That's why. That's why. I really, you know, who really to me the biggest losers in this thing is the black academics, the black nationalists, the black uh, uh, pan Africanists, who who who's uh, blah, 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 who said, well, we got to we we, we got to we got to get Biden in there. All your life, you've been running against the Democrat Party as far as their their their, their non platforms, and all of a sudden you're going to vote for them. That doesn't make no sense to me at all. It just shows you all these people cheering from the side, you know, all these academics, the people who got these nice radio programs, whatever, you know, these these uh, podcasters, people. They're all, you know, saying, oh, no, we got to do this, we got to. But I thought you, I thought just the other week, you was like, you know, how 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 you you wasn't with the racist agenda of, of, of Uncle Joe or or you or, or you wasn't with the, the cop agenda of, of Kamala or whatever like that. And all of a sudden you're going to go, you gotta. That, that, I, I, why are you voting against your interests again? That don't make no sense to me. You know. Yeah. And and that and that that to me they them and as, as usual the, the 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 mainstream media they're the biggest losers because they're still trying to. I like what you said when you said watch this Kameki guy whatever it is watch the board how they do the boards how they talk so enthusiastically like they're doing a sports like they're doing a sports program. Yeah. That, that it was hilarious, man. It, it, it was exactly that, wasn't it? Yep. I mean, it was literally like fantasy football, like fantasy football points. The first one to 270 wins. Ah. I don't and play- then I, I also like your post that you put up. Uh, you said, I don't know, is it a president or a predator? And I don't know if you saw what I said. <laughs> no. I <said> president. <laughs> president. <laughs> hey, man, you know, this. But, I'm, uh, but this is really very interesting because it separates the wheat from the chair. But like I said, all those academics, all those people, like somebody like Chris Hedges, you know, he says, I'm voting Green Party. I always, I vote Democrats since, you know, since 2000, whatever it was, you know what I mean? And that's the point. You don't lose, all of a sudden, just because the, the drunk man is running, you don't lose your principles and, 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 and go for your, the, the, the enemy of my enemy is, my enemy is enemy. I don't know how, however that thing goes, you know. And these people, when they did that, I said, "Oh, these are people are not for real." This is. I see what the deal is. Oh man, mm. you know. So I said in a post. I said in a post, uh, Instagram thing. I said, some uh, something like, "I really don't understand how we keep on voting against our own interests." It doesn't make any sense to me. It just I, I can't. Have people lost their minds. What? How do you do that? Yeah. I mean, consistently vote against your own interests, and they keep on throwing up stuff there that shows that show you how. How, how could? I just don't get it, man. You keep the most radical radical is saying, you know, or, or look. My thing is, I like, just stop listening to white people. That's my whole thing. Just stop listening to white people. If a white person uh, uh, advises it, says something. Put put yeah put it into your I, I'll take that under advice kind of thing, yeah. and then find your own perspective. But if yeah. but if, a, if a white man come up with it, they got to go through all kinds of like remember we got to go through all kinds of hoops to be whatever we got to be. But we got to put yeah. them through all kinds of hoops that to, to to take any of their ideas. I don't care what their idea is. My, oh. my thing is that we just got to. Um, like I said, focus on what we need to do economically and politically for ourselves, and the two should go hand in hand, the politics and the economics. They have to go hand in hand. They have to be in a way where it's like, look, okay, we're not going for the yoki dog. The first thing we should do is say, okay, what didn't work? And be honest about it. What's, what didn't work? What's not working? Mm. And say, okay, so we know we ain't going to do that. So anything that sounds like that or looks or smells like that, we ain't do it. You know, the thing is, when, when, when I do my, when I do my, my I've, I've developed my audio drama workshops to such a point where, you know, when, when, you, when we're putting together the script, there's a certain process I use. So everybody has initial input into the, into the, um, 
because it's just a, a, a working script. It's just just to get to the end. That just the script doesn't have to make any sense. You know what I mean? But everybody, everybody in the workshop has to come up with ideas for this script. And then as we then at some particular point, well, the next day, is, well, actually the first day, you you assign your team of writers. What you know, basically your yeah your writers with a head writer. You know, so you might have four or five people that's interested in that. Then you have people that's doing the music or all these other things broken down to. But when the writers start to put stuff in, so you say so you 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 contributed to the first thing, but then you really want to be a sound effects person, right? So you just leave the writers do the right. You go to your sound effects person. You go to you go and do your sound effects thing. Well, the thing is, what you're saying is like the writers as they hone it, your idea that you originally had, they may use it or may not use it. If they don't use it, you still now that we're off season, you still can push your idea. Yeah. Even though the main thing might be this, that doesn't mean your your little idea, which they couldn't accommodate at the particular time when they were, do, were doing the big scripts. You know what I mean? That doesn't yeah. mean even even as a sound effects person, you could take your idea and, and and through sound effects, you know, express your point of view that they didn't put in the script. You see what I'm saying? If you get yeah. in this concept, so what so what I'm trying to say is that there should be room for everybody to 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 do the to 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 do their the impetus, as I say, the, you know, the, the, the agenda, you know what I mean? Uh, even as the main agenda goes, so, so say the main agenda is whatever the main agenda is, is you know, say somebody's main agenda is taking over the Democrat Party, which I don't know why you would do that, uh, which goes to my other point. My real point is what all these people are trying to do, these the, the nationalists, all these people do, they're trying to save the Democrat Party. I say, let that sucker burn. <laughs> Burn Democrats, burn! You know, let it go, <laughs> let it get, let it get fractured. You know, yeah. And 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 uh, you know, because we can get more effective if if we divide and conquer them, the Pelosi crowd. You know, yeah. So that's the strategy I I, I would really come up with, is that you we keep on going, but you don't lose sight of your agenda. You you, you somehow. Do your agenda in this off year, especially in this off year. So if your agenda is, for instance, you know, uh, 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 legalize all drugs so people won't be in jail for drugs. Say, let's well, throw anything out there. Then that's what you're working on. And so that's what you put on your little your little initiative, you know, in, your, in, your, in Iowa, wherever your, your thing is. And then that's how you're changing. Everybody from the bottom. We're changing things from the bottom. That's the whole point. Very good. And don't get distracted by these celebrities. That's yeah. that's the whole other thing, man. I heard I heard that and what is it? Angelina Jolie was meeting with the ex MI six or five or the one of those the English spy kind of person, and they yeah. took all kinds of stuff. And you understand? Here's my latest. Here's my revelation from this whole thing coming out. Here it is: the politicians. They they became celebrity. You know, politicians are celebrity. At some particular point in the last, say, 15 years, politicians really became celebrity status. And celebrities, you know, of course, are celebrities. Now, what does celebrity mean? It doesn't, it just means that you are you're a celebrity. You don't have to really, you've been in one notable movie or one notable book or one notable movement, whatever have you. You know, you become you become in that in that uh, let's call them the celebrities and influencers, you know? That's the next thing that's coming up. So these kind of people, they don't really know. But 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 when you see the people that get together, when you have to get together with an ex CIA person, you know, you say, wait, well, you, or, or, or your CIA is running your 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 MSNBC, or your, or your guests are CIA. You know what I mean? Then everybody can look and see that. They say, oh okay, uh huh, I see what's happening. All you have to do, you, you want to be celebrity influencer class, and then you think you have more influence than you do. But we're back at the barbershop. The barbershop is still a barbershop. Everybody's got to go to the barbershop. Even, yes. even if you don't get your hair cut. If you want the real deal, those are the people that's doing it, you know? So that's what I'm looking at. Uh, now they go to Slim Fist. I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, um, Killer Mike and, uh, and Ambassador Young and somebody else, they start, this, they start this bank, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Greenwood. Yeah. I already I'm, signed up. There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll sign up. No problems. Again, that's something I'm not interested in, but I'll just do it because they need the support, right? But still, it's still a bank. And the thing is, are they still got to go through the American fiat system? Now, do, they, do, do, they, do they have a Bitcoin offshoot, you know, in that bank? So I go yeah. to the bank just for the Bitcoin thing, you know, for the c cryptocurrency thing. So maybe I can get what I want. But still, remember that bank is still under the fiat system. So it's still under white supremacy. 
You see? Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so. Other than Bitcoin, everything is, basically. <laughs> well, no, Bitcoin is, Bitcoin, interestingly enough, Bitcoin is not under white supremacy. No, I said other than Bitcoin, oh. everything else is. So so when they start this bank, I, like I said, I, I, because people just don't know. But yeah. at least we'll have that, I don't want to say escape hatch, but we'll have that pr- perspective being supported. And that's what's important. And that's what's important. But my biggest takeaway, again, we have this celebrity class, this influencer class, all these little things. And the more little things that they have, the better it is for us, you know, black liberationists or whatever we call ADOSers, whatever we are, it's better is for us because, you know, we're more focused. You know, this is really interesting, I think. Yeah. So, anyway, um, I don't have a whole lot for this week um, because I think, that, as I say, the script writes itself. This whole uh, uh, election thing is just is, is so funny to me. It's, it's, it's very entertaining. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that, you know. Oh, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a situation where, um, you know, let's see how 2020, you know, because uh, my thing is that if you notice throughout this whole process, nobody's really talking COVID no more. You know what I'm It's like, uh, you know, there's a virus out there, but, you know, everybody's, you know, talking about election. It shows you that when there's nothing else happening, like, OK, when the NBA first came back, COVID took a back seat. When um, football came back, COVID took a back seat. Election, COVID took a back seat. The protesting, COVID took a back seat. You know what I'm saying? If you notice that. Yep. You know, in the media in general, it's like, you know, what are people talking about? You know, well, generally everybody's talking about COVID. That's the overarching subject. But when, you know, something that happens that affects the masses, it's like, oh, forget that. Forget COVID. It's just now. <laughs> We're doing this now. You know what I'm saying? We're protesting now. The herd. Like, what matter? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? It is the and herd. Then, you know, that's what it dies down. It's like, oh, COVID. Look at those numbers. COVID numbers. COVID again. It's a herd yeah. mentality, man. And it's like, oh, oh, football's back. Oh, okay. Yeah. NFL, yeah. It's like, Wow, those guys are playing without masks and all of that. They're all playing, you know, bumping up against each other, knocking each other out, no masks, only the coaches got masks on. And it's like, you know, but in your everyday, it's like, yo, COVID, man. <laughs> well, you know, I think one of the biggest things is really uh, how it is. You have this mixed thing. You, we, we know, well, I know, I believe this. If you're healthy, you're healthy. If you're not too healthy, well, you're not too healthy. So you're going to be a, come a victim of COVID or not because of the, depending on what you you do, you know. So I think that that's 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 part of it. Uh, but a huge part of it really is is how I want to say what's your behavior, but you know how do, there's people who who are who are mighty in this who who who, are, who can't be taken down by the COVID, right? Basically, do they have more power than everybody else? Because they, because basically, remember if you think of the COVID to me. You're thinking of what's called an opportunistic situation. So what do well, hey, Anthony, that sounds pretty good, man. What what the heck you mean by an opportunistic situation? Well, everything that we go through, it's not it's it's not that COVID is not real or is real or whatever it is. But what happens is is is, is if you if if you're going to get something done, you know what I mean. You it, it, you you take the thing that the rocket the rocket that's that's just the, the or the bomb is going through the, the the wall. You attach yourself to that, and so you don't you have less resistance. You know what I mean? If somebody else is knocking down the wall, then I think that's really what's 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 going on. It's like hey, you know, it's opportunistic. The you know the it's not that it's not that they are smarter than we are or or more stupid than we are. Whatever it is that that. They have taken whatever the situation is and they make an opportune situation for themselves. So we yeah. so use COVID as a cover. Yeah, there we go. COVID as a cover to get your know. nefarious thing done. You, whatever your nefarious thing is to get done, use COVID as a cover. You know, hey, if it wasn't COVID, it'd be something else. So whatever is coming along, you can attach your you can attach your little barnacle to and and you know, then that's that's what that's what's going on. And I think yeah. that's that's really what it is. Uh, yeah. Can't put it more plainer than that. 
You know, so so if you if you got to be a celebrity to get things done, well, then become a celebrity, and then you get things done. <laughs> you know, if you if you got to be a thug to get things done, well, then become a thug and get things done. And whatever it is, uh, and, and that's what it is. You know, you 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 take advantage of what you can take advantage of. That's what they do. You know, that's what the military that's what the military does. You just say, hey, we have we have a contingency we have a contingency plan for everything. That's the point. Yeah. So when they say it's conspiracy or pandemic or whatever they say, is, well, yeah, it is in a way. What they do is they put plans on top of the, what they do, these scenarios. Well, if this happens, they will do this. If this happens, they prepare for every little scenario to put their to put their own little nefarious spin on everything. So it'll come up in their nefarious vision. That's 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 what I would say, you know. And that's the way it goes. That's the way it is. So anyway, man, what else? You, what else? What else you got? Because uh, I'm so enthralled with this this election. I'm, I'm so. I just say you, so I'm very happy about this whole thing. Let me see if there's some news. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, we we'll have we have breaking news here. We we now have president of the United States of North America. We we fill the slot. <laughs> we fill the slot. Oh, they're, they're doing a little bit of a commercial right there. Oh, okay. Uh, oh no, that's the house thing. Okay, sorry. Hey, the house song is two twenty, two twenty six to two oh nine in favor of the Democrats. So the house is still Democratic. Okay. Uh, I, I was surprised with that. I thought that we we're going to slip a little bit. Well, hey, well, you know they say that in an off year, then the the, the the whatever the the major party, whatever the presidential party, they lose some cachet that off year. Yeah. So to the, so so with that that next to uh, uh, twenty twenty two, uh, they should use they should they should lose some seats. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, what? Well, let me no. It's, let, let me ask. Do you know anything about Kamala? Is Kamala cackling? No, that I can see her like a witch in the corner. I'm going to be president. I'm going to be. I'm going to be president. Not so far. So far, you haven't even really seen her. Yeah, she know. It's like Barack. I don't know how. I don't know how Barack has the the cojones. He ain't got none. Has a gumption to try to pop his head up any place and try to put some, some some speech about our ancestors and stuff like that. How, how, how we even let him get away with that? He's protected by the boules and, and those people those, those people with a lot of money. But he can't run for long. He can't hide for long. He's got to come out sometime. Notice he only did a couple of speeches places. Well, he did a Florida speech, but that didn't do well too well. You know, the, the, uh, the rich Latinos who could, they don't, people don't understand. The people that come over to this country from those, you know, those, those like the Venezuelans, the Cubans, whatever, those are the well-off people. Yeah. So, you know. They're the ones that came here and declared themselves white because they didn't have to play Hispanic back in the day. That's, that you said it, that's it. <laughs> they came, they come here and declare themselves white. And if they got enough money, then they are white. And I'm talking about, yeah. the, I'm talking about the Southeast Asians. I'm talking about, you know, or, and plus the regular white people, you know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> regular whites. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, these, the, uh, the people that you can't see, like the Australians and the Canadians and stuff like that, they come here and, and be ultra white. And like I said, my thing is like they come and they become liberal or something like that. And, they, and their liberalness, what they do, they ignore ADOS. They're like, yeah. we don't exist. So they get their little platform. Well, they don't think. Because they had said earlier that um, a lot of. The people have voted locally that are liberal. Mm. They voted liberally locally, but when they vote for the president, that's why they were saying how those polls were really, really off. Mm. They voted for Trump. <laughs> really? So, yeah. So there was a lot of that means there was a lot of protest vote. Yeah. That means a lot of the Bernie people said, "Oh man, I'm a how, how can I really put a thumb in their eye? Let me do it this way." That's interesting, but like yeah. I said, if he was in an all blue state, it would do you know it would do you no harm to vote for Trump because he was because Biden was going to get that state anyway, and and that that and then like I said, the real polling takes place with your vote. So then people will look and say, "How in the world could the, the, the what's going on here?" Let them scratch their heads. You know they can't figure it out because yeah. they're not they're not in the streets. They're not down with the downtrodden, as I said. You know. 
And then the biggest show, remember, remember, so you saw that Mike Sargent thing with, with Mary Van Peebles? That was yeah. so blatantly stupid, you know. And, you know, when these celebrities are telling, trying to tell us, us poor masses, how to vote, that to me is really hilarious. He said, y'all don't know nothing. You're not out here. You go to your little parties and you go to, you're on your film set, you know, being catered to, or where are you out there traveling the world or whatever it is, and, you, and you, you're reading, you're reading this or reading that, or, you know, or the, uh, following Pelosi, whatever you're doing, you know, you're not down there in a barbershop. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. There was there was a thing. Let me let me. You know, and they, there was in Portland. In Portland, you know, there, there was this some woman, some white woman came out, and uh, you can't see, it, but she was totally naked, and she sat on, on on in the middle of the street facing the cops in such a way, you know, with her legs her legs up, you know, but but they were, you know, basically you you know you you can see her genitals right from yeah. like that white woman, and the way they treated it was like it was this moment she was protesting. And, you know, and um, what was this moment? Uh, let's call it artistic moment. Then in another spot, you had you had the sisters down there doing splits and twerking at the police, right? But, yeah. but, but, but that was not as acceptable as the one artistic white woman, you know what I mean? So to me, they both, yeah. to me, the barbershop did, the barbershop, this is like, like, again, those people came out, those same some people came out against the poll, the vote, vote the poll voters, whatever have you. Yeah. And I was saying, have they seen the whole commercial? They were basically saying, vote down ballot. That's what they were saying. And they yes. said, oh, no. They, they, they Look at that. They use the objectifies. You know, they try to get some pole dancers. And they'll get out to the, I go like, oh, man, you all sit on it. Get out of here. The barbershop, we like that. You know what I mean? We like the, yes. sis, we like the sisters twerking. You know, you, you want to get up there and you do your Maxine Waters thing? Uh, Fine. You know, the sisters twerking got your attention. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> got the brothers at the barbershop's attention. Simple as that. It's like, oh, okay, I see what's up. And then they start talking to you. Now it's like, I got, now that I have your attention, here's my message. See, the other this thing is, is right, sis, I hear you. I always try to point this out to people because everybody keeps saying Martin Luther King this and this, that, you know, but I'm not going to go into how that he wasn't really supported. But one of the things he did with that Montgomery boy, bus boycott, they went to the entire community and in fact, there's a famous thing that they even put in a movie where he really went to the pool halls. When they, when you say you went to the pool halls, anytime yeah. you say you recruited from the pool halls, means you went to the real people. You went to that, that yeah. world, that another world between the, the yeah. legitimate that's why the barbershop is so important. Because the barbershop is where all, all that, all, all that, all, all, those, all that merchandise, you know, that fell off the truck gets gets sold, whatever have you. That's the real people, you know. Yeah. So, so and so, so, so these 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 people or these academics, they don't, they want to try to talk for the real people. And then when you when you and then and then when they try to talk to a real person, they always get the real person that is the most inarticulate. Because there's, there's some really articulate, you know, homeless people, if you want to put if you want to put them in that world, or really articulate barbershop people. Yeah. And, but, but you know, you're going to get the guys, boy, I don't, well, you know, boss, uh, you know, you know uh, whatever. So, I mean, even, I don't, I, 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 I'm i going to call Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., so I can't talk bad about anybody. But, you know, some of these commentators even, you know, the way they talk, they don't know. They, yeah. they, don't, they don't research. Nah. They don't know how to do it. One thing I'm grateful for for BAI for at least is that, you know, if you were somebody on uh, on the air, and because you had other people, you can you have access to talk to other points of view. Yeah. Most of these people can't talk to other points of view. Does so, it? Yeah. Because like, when, when you was on BAI, it's like, well, if you didn't know, then you didn't have to wait to listen to so and so's show. You can go find them. That's right. You know? Catch it when they're off the air, preparing their show, or right after their show, or sometimes right they open the door and let you in on their show. That's that's it. So I mean, it, 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 like Gerald Horn, man, Gerald Horn was there all the time. Talk to Gerald every time, every time I wanted to. But just like yeah. I talked to Gerald Horn, I could talk to Plato Benjamin. We talk about two yeah. di diverging points of view. But my point is, you know, you can you can get you can get some some good perspective. But these people yeah. don't want perspective. You know, I I was you know, Angela. You got me laughing. They can back up Plato. Oh, Eric Plato. I got it. I got it. This is name alone said who he was. Plato. I wanted to. Rec I wanted to record. I met Plato's son, and I, and I should have took Plato's number then. But you know, he's in Manhattan. I want to. I got to. I got to talk to that brother, man. It's yeah. so, so highly entertaining. Highly entertaining. But you know, I saw this woman, this Angela Wire woman, talking about. 
she's finally, I think she said, you know, white women came down on white women for voting for voting for Trump or whatever have you. Go like, what do you expect? You, 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 Angela, right? You're not voting for your interests. The white women are voting for their interests. They were voting for white supremacy. What's your problem with that? <laughs> what, what's white women supposed to do? They supposed to yeah. go with you? You the one that's confused. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to um um a show earlier today, right? And Dr. Claude Anderson said something similar to what you just said, only the opposite for us. <laughs> he said, he said, uh, black people didn't start doing things in their own interest until white people made them during segregation. <laughs> That's what made us start businesses and stuff like that. Up until then, we wasn't doing none of that. <laughs> Which brings up an interesting point. The only way we're going to win this is why this they is why... They never talk about that, though. You know what I'm saying? But this is why like ADS is so... The academics, they never talk about, like, look, you know, you know, we were trying to assimilate, you know, from the beginning since slavery and also, you know, start our own businesses and stuff, but it was like the segregation laws that really made us, really forced our hand to do it. Well, I think one of again one of the, one of the things is that we are we have except for ADOS. This is why I really respect ADOS as political movement. We're always in reactionary mode. If you're reacting, if you're reacting to Trump, you are Trump. You're in his wake. He's he's churning you. Yeah. If you if you're reacting by saying I gotta have Biden, you're reacting. So yeah. if you're gonna react, you by definition, I love this word. By definition, you're reactionary. Yeah. That's why I look at all these people that say they're revolutionaries and say, well, no, you're not a revolution. You yeah, your revolution means it goes round and round and round. So you're a, you're in a hamster wheel. So basically, unless you're I, I don't like this word either, proactive, but unless you have your own agenda and you push it for your agenda, it's purely yours. Yeah. And not a reaction to something. I'm gonna vote for Biden as a reaction to the drunk man. Well, right right then you done lost. Cause yeah. you, you ain't, well, you ain't see, this is something that I said earlier to like to family members, I said, look, voting is emotional. It's emotional. Straight up. Nobody really goes to the polls thinking logically. Mm -hmm. They start thinking about, oh, this person, that person, or what he did, or what this one's going to do, and then they vote with their emotions right then and there. Because at that point, that's that's like the tipping point. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you finally get into that little booth area, you got that little you know, pen the stylus ready to, you know, put your mark down. The first thing you're thinking about is like, you start thinking about everything. Should I put this person? Should I put A? Or should I put B? Or I don't even know who C is. But if I hate A and B, maybe I'll put C. And then you got to write in there. It's like, oh, so I can write something in. And that's where it comes. It's the emotions. It's not really based on a logical thing. And that's why elections go the way they do. That's it. That's it. You hit it on the head, man. It's too emotional. It's actually it's too emotional. Again, this is why I love ADL so much. That's why I say it's my political head because I don't see any other organization. Plus, there's this whole thing that I say that ADOS is bulletproof. What that means is that the, 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 the only thing that we can that can be recruited that's not in our interest, we can't get it straight up. Because remember, all the other uh, civil rights, all these organizations, they're infiltrated by either white people or white mentalities. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you can have the blackest organization, but if they're following, if they're firing Marx and not getting Cedric Robinson's black Marxism, then you know you lost. You're still following a white boy. You know. <laughs> yeah. but, you know. My point it really is that because they do it, you have there's the lineage. You know, you have to have the lineage to be in, and then the political thing is a whole other thing. And the political yeah. head, because of the way the 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 the, the posture of Antonio <laughs> and Yvette, the way they go hard, you know what I mean? They they yeah. don't take no prisoners. It's like, oh, you go and say something against them. Oh man, they'll come down on you right away. They be it's a fight, you know what I mean? No, you ain't yeah. getting away. You ain't gonna call me no name and just get away with it. Keep on moving on. No, this ain't this ain't that kind of politics. That's what I really love about them. You know what I mean? That's why I don't say yeah. too much. And most of the stuff I don't agree with, I'm not saying most, a lot of stuff I don't agree with, but I don't care. I want somebody who's going to fight the other extreme so we can get in without work, without, and do the work, you know? But, but anyway, so, so, so the point really is that we're bulletproof because you have to be, be true ADOS to work ADOS. Other than that, you can be an ally, 
But then we tell the allies, look, if you're really an ally, then you need to do this or that. You know, just say, hey, yeah. you know, no, you don't be talking like that. So Angela Rye, for instance, could never could never talk, speak for us. Just like just like I remember Karen Hunter on her on her one person on her staff is half Jamaican. Well, you can't speak for us. Joy Ann Reed is 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 whatever she is. She ain't even no AGOS, whatever it is. You know, yeah, because she's Guyanese in Congo. So the thing is, well, why are you why are you trying to speak for us? Even something like Roll here's the oh, the one I love the most is Roland Martin. You know why? It's very simple. He's trying to speak to ADOS, whatever have you. Okay. But he's half Haitian. So here's my thing. I said, Roland, hey, Mr. Greek fraternity, Mr. You know, that makes you more black. Okay. You up there dancing the Dougie with uh, with with uh, with with Hillary. Uh, don't you know what she, aren't you part Haitian? Don't you aren't you proud of your Haitian parts? Well, isn't Hillary the same one with her little uh, foundation? They came and they they steal they steal Haitians and they and they 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 steal the money. They 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 set up a charity to steal the money from you. Shouldn't you be fighting Hillary, not dancing with her? Why are you dancing with Hillary? If you're truly if you're truly you know want want to fight, why you, let me put it this way? Why are you dancing with Hillary and fighting against ADOS? That's the question. Yeah. I asked all those questions. Why are you dancing with, with Kamala or, or or with Biden and and slinging arrows against ADOS? And like I said before, Pan Africanists, you got a whole lot of stuff to do. Africa is on the move. You want to help? You know, you don't want instead of slinging your arrows and taking the energy to sling, sling your arrows at, at some organization that's doing whatever they're doing. You should be taking your, that energy and, and bolstering up the political movements in Africa. There's a couple of them that are really did that are really decent. You should be trying to get NATO out of Central America. You progressive people, why is NATO in Central America? Why is NATO in Africa? So you should be fighting against NATO, you you, you people over there. There's, there's always a, a better fight, but no, you you going to gravitate towards you know towards ADOS because why? Because we black and we right. <laughs> yes. Well, that's my little point of view. I could be wrong. Well, anyway, what else you got, man? Because we're supposed to be short because it ain't nothing to report. I thought, well, even if the, even if we did have a president, it don't matter. You know, like you said, hey, what's the yes. next thing? I'm gonna. I think tone probably is it. What day is today? I don't even know what day today. This is Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, they just showed Georgia, right? Uh huh. They tied in Georgia, <laughs> like the same amount exactly, with ninety nine percent in there. Well, you know, the you know their hopes were they. they it's all these polls. Their hopes were that as the cities gets counted, you know, and the black people in the city was gonna, you know, put put whatever over. You know what I mean? But, you know, remember what they say about Georgia, what they say about Atlanta. Well, you know, Georgia, there's Atlanta, then there's the rest of Georgia. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Whatever, oh, man. This, let me put it this way. This is more, because now you're going to have to really look around. This is such good news for ADOS. Because, of course, because the only person that we're really, only people that's really organized. I say we like I can do anything because I'm ADOS International, but... I'm gonna try. I got a really good project that I want to. I want to do would help a lot, you know. So, I want to check it with, uh, with 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 some of my people. These people that that really were against that that proved they were against Biden, you know, by by doing whatever they did to see what they're saying. The commentary for the next few days is going to be hilarious because again, these influencers and and these and these cable people they're going to be brought down. Shh, you know. These, oh yeah, as a matter of fact, they did say that they were going to do. Um, like the Hill said it actually that they're gonna do um like a um a autopsy they call it on the voting. Uh huh. So I guess that that means that they're gonna see like you know who voted for who, you know what demographic voted for this, how this demographic voted, et cetera, et cetera. And I really like to see that too because you know you be hearing all the time like oh well y'all don't come out and vote or y'all this meaning black men in particular you know what I'm saying. Okay, we're going to see that. That's right. Because Tony showed the numbers before on one of his shows of like, no, you can't blame black men for all of this nonsense. No, you want to. They want to because that's that gets the headlines. They, 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 yeah. that's, that's a sexy thing. I mean, oh, yeah, it's clickbait. Hey, I would say there's something interesting. Um, uh, way back in the, when I came back in the early 80s, uh, I was hanging out with this guy, John Harris Jr., theater person, right? And he was at NYU at the time, a theater. 
And he was helping because he would do, he's a he's a technical person, you know, so he helped the lighting, still lighting's costume, all the kind of back kind of stuff, you know, that's why we we, we hooked up, right? And then so he was helping these graduate students do their, their their presentation and dance, right? And what they did, same thing we did when we did Caligula down at at, 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 uh, at Rutgers, they got two dancers, a white dancer, a white female dancer, a black female dancer. They had the exact same height, exact same body type, you know, as far as, you know, you know, maybe the white dancer's legs were a little bit thicker or whatever have you, because that's the way it is. But if everything else, you know, proportions, you know, breasts, waist, you know, hips, you know, it's height, everything was the exact same, right? And, yes. and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the project was that they danced, right? And then, and then, you know, they danced the same dance side by side. But you as an audience member, you have to fill out this thing. And it was interesting because your eyes always went to the black dancer. Mm. Now, because I modeled, then I, I have another take on that. What you what people look at, they, they, they're not looking, you think they're looking at the what the the, the 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 race of the person. No, they're looking at the energy. When you're sitting there live in a live performance, you're absorbing the energy of the performance. That's why a live performance is different than you watching it on the screen. Oh, absolutely. And it's about the energy. And I'm saying that black people got this energy that pops off of us, that is it's so enthralling, or whatever it is that you're mesmerized with it. And for those people who are, who are jealous of it or whatever, it is, what they try to do is they try to kill it. They try to deny it. But it's undeniable. That's the whole point. You know? So so, 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 so the black, a black, a true black person, and I'm talking about, when I say black person, I'm, I'm, especially when you go through ADS for North America, because we have all that stuff. We have, we, we have basically... We have those African genes that pop in, but with all those European genes and those those autochthonous genes from the whatever lands, whatever Indian the native lands that come through, they all come into this 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 black person, right? But this black person, their genes they they, they reorganize in such a way, it's so enthralling, you know. Yeah. It's like wow. So it's really it's really interesting. Uh, so this is yeah. I want to look at the. I, I I suspect I hope white I hope white women did not disappoint me, because you know they're the ones that vote for Trump. I hope they didn't disappoint me. You know all them all them all them uh, the gay people and the trans people and the and the white liberal women and whatever have you. They say okay, let's see what let's see what let's see what your your friends did. You know your feminist friends did. Let's see what they did. You know so. so. Uh, well, well, black man, anything else, man? Because I'm gonna end it here. Why? Because I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, man. I ain't slept in two days. I gotta go uh, check out some stuff art wise. So I'm done. I lo I, lo I lo Did you see my comment last one? I did you see a little shark in your in your thing? Yeah, I did. Did you see the shark? Is it clearly a shark? Don't 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 tell me about no this abstract nothing. This is, this is a shark. <laughs> it's one of it's one of those sharks that they have on a, on a sign. Beware of sharks, and they have a, a picture of a shark. You know what? It's like a raw shark test for you. I see. Yeah, <laughs> it you is. Be catching it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, I see a shark. It's like, so I go back and look like, oh, there is a shark. <laughs> but the way the way the funny thing to me, the reason why I really like that picture, because everything was so it was the way it was. But then I'm gonna say, hey, wait a second! No, I might see that shark. Am I the only one to see the shark? This is plain as day, right? Right here. Yeah. <laughs> the the picture that would be good because, uh, like you said, with your idea of doing the exhibit, you'd be like, oh, there's a shark. And so we'd be like, you don't see no damn shark. And so you'd be like, oh, should I see it too? And then you just get a whole crowd, you know, like there it is, the yeah. shark. Everybody, you know, it's like everybody goes someplace, they start all right, start looking up in the sky. <laughs> Everybody, you, yeah. you see it over there? Where? Where's it over there? They gave me, very funny, very funny. Okay, man. So I'll check you later. You know. All right. You know, but what, what are we gonna do Sunday? We're gonna wait till next. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Yeah, and let's get to Sunday, unless something dramatic happens. But um, yeah, I'm gonna you know take a little time off, and then we can just hook back up the Sunday after. Yeah, good idea. No, that's great. That's what I like. Okay, that's good. All right, man. You be well. All right. All right.
Later. Take it easy, man. Get some rest. Uh, I'm trying. Okay. Later.